So we had the SID Display Week, and who are you? Hi, I'm John Sandberg with Pixel Scientific. I'm the production specialist, and I handle a lot of the work that we do. And we primarily resize liquid crystal displays for custom sizes. We take so, a, so those are all custom sizes right here? Yes, that is correct. All custom sizes in addition to having uh, custom backlights to go along with them. So if our customer needs a resized display, we resize it. If a customer needs a backlight to uh, drive some light into that display, we do that as well. So for example, the aeronic, uh, the aviation market, uh -huh. they maybe they, they, they need a very high quality, very high performance displays, uh -huh. right? Yes. But a specific size. Oh yes, yeah. specific size more importantly, uh, and also high resolution. So this is our uh, 20 by 8 4K display. It was originally a 23.8 inch display. It's primarily used in the F-35 flight simulators. And... Uh, it is a 4K display resized to the 20 by 8 resolution. And it is a hit these days. So, uh, it's only for the simulation machines? Um, it's not in the actual airplane? In some particular cases, it does fly. And so, but it's not 4K. What kind of resolution ends up when you cut, cut it off of 4K? Oof. Uh, I don't know off the top of my head. But it's going to be high resolution. Very high resolution. And all the, the high specs of that display. Uh, retain the manufacturer's specs. Uh, the seal that we, when we resize the display, we have to reseal where we made the cut. And our seal holds to the same standards as the manufacturer's seal. From very low temperatures to very high temperatures and uh, other rigorous testing. And uh, right here you have a very thin one? Yes, we do. This one has a lot to do with shelving. So this is more uh, for the digital signage industry, less for the aviation industry. And just a nice unique bar. What are you sharing over there? These are actual open cells. So this is the uh, cells themselves. It's kind of cool because it shows you exactly what we do. Here it would be an NEC panel. It was a four by three aspect ratio. And here we've cut off about two inches of it. And you can kind of see exactly where the cut is all the way down into the flex. Excise the flex, turn a four by three aspect ratio into a square. And that is the same story here with the five by five kind of uh, I guess remnants of the aviation industry again needing uh, a certain aspect ratio for their flight simulators. 5x5, five 6x6, by five, six by six, resized cell with a modified circuit board for the cell to fit in the customer's specific installation. In addition, we do things such as custom backlighting. Uh, this here in particular is dual mode with Envis lighting. And uh, other installations such as this 5x5 with much higher brightness values. And we, uh, we take pride in resizing displays and filling our customers' need. And uh, how's the backlight quality? Uh, ooh, it's great. You can do all kinds of different? Uh -huh. uh, we have... Oof, that's a good question. We do higher, uh, higher nits. Uh, we do custom backlights. We, we do edge lit backlights. Uh, we do... Oh, man. And then in, in software, you can drive all these different resolutions, uh -huh. even though they're custom resolutions that come out of it, right? Yes. Uh, so the display itself doesn't realize that it's been excised. It continues to drive as though it, the rest of the glass were still there. So for the purpose of the customer, they can plug it into the same controller kit as they would have had with a standard display and just turn the thing on and power it up, and there you go. And it's LCD. That's right. And so the, this liquid thing that's inside the liquid crystal display, uh -huh. it doesn't care that you cut it off It doesn't care. It's, uh, it's very tame. If you were to cut a display and just leave it open, the liquid crystal material would remain there. Uh, the atmospheric pressure is enough to keep it immobile. So is this mostly about uh, a sh uh, small order quantity projects? Um, that is what the interesting part is, that it's a very large range. We ourselves do low volume in addition to prototyping, but we have licensees as we are the licensors of the technology of resizing a display. So we have uh, licensees who are able to do high volume at a, just anywhere in between. You know, low volume, high volume, you answer. And, uh, so you, you would take a, a crazy high grade display from which kind of company Samsung or somebody? Samsung LG NEC <laughs> Tianma Inelux everybody and they have really great pixel densities and they have some great 4k monitors and mm -hmm. even 5k 8k coming out mm -hmm. you work with 8k uh, well we cut 4k as we have showcasing here and uh, I believe that is next up on the <laughs> list of things to do
So we'll be busy with the 8K custom uh -huh. size. Yeah, displays. we are very busy. And this, the, par the party cut off, can you use it somewhere else? Oh, no, you can use it to Only one uh, display. throw it in a trash can if you're looking for some fun, maybe some target mm -hmm. practice, but no. It's sadly, uh, we have not come up with a way to cut a display into two working displays. But if you come up with that, then uh, give me a call. <laughs> right.